Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are in Brooklyn today. After a red eye flight and almost no sleep and no coffee yet, this is gonna be brutal. <laughs> We're gonna try our best though. Right now we are waiting for coffee shop to open, but we have a couple of items to check off on our list today amazing restaurants that I have never been to yet, but it's highly rated. We're really just some LA tourists just trying to eat our way through Brooklyn. Yep, I'm excited for today. Ice Kyoto Latte, the small one, and then one small ice Spanish Latte. How was it? First sip was so good. <laughs> wow. There's a reason why this place is so popular. It's so good. Here is their first US location outside of Japan, which is so rare. And we got the Spanish latte and the Kyoto latte. The Spanish one's not as good as the Kyoto one. The Kyoto one is like amazing. I usually just get black coffee, but I do not regret this decision today. <laughs> it's so like, good. I'm trying to think of this as objectively as possible, not just because we haven't had coffee. Yet no, today it's and we good. Had no sleep. No, it's it's no, really it's good. really good. I wish we had one in LA. I know, maybe soon. But there's like so many coffee places. And it's like, do we come back or do we try other ones? I want to come back. Hundred so out of hundred percent. Hundred percent. What we get. We're having breakfast pastries at this Hong Kong inspired cafe at Brooklyn Williamsburg called Land to Sea. We got a bolo bao and a Portuguese tart and a ginger lemongrass tea with honey. And this place is so cute. This might not be better than the place we had in San Francisco, but it looks pretty good. Not enough guava. It's good. Yeah, but they don't have guava. <laughs> but it's good. And then you can warm it up too. Alright, try it. Portuguese egg tart. It's different from the regular egg tart because the inside of it is not just pure egg. It's like a custard. It's more custardy. Some people prefer this one. It's very fluffy. Mm -hmm. So good. And the tea is really refreshing. Recommended? Mm -hmm. Everything recommended here? It's cute. It's a cute place. For lunch, we are here at Nami Nori. And they are famous for their temaki. Temaki is just like, I guess, like a hand roll that you eat with your hands. And it's super popular. It smells very spicy. Mm -hmm. First dish with miso. Mm -hmm. One of them's gonna be spicy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's savory and sweet. They garnish some lemon zest and it has some sea salt flakes. Got a salad. Stumped, I don't know what it is. It's so pretty. Ooh, that looks good, the cucumber. So it comes in a wrapper. This is a compostable wrapper. It's made from plants. The instructions are written on there. Hold other end, slide this wrapper out. This wrapper is made from plants. I'm failing at this. I was holding my breath. Ikatakimasu! You already know it's good. Seaweed paper is so crispy. Oh my god. You guys have to come here. This one is... Oh, this is the pineapple one. The second yeah. flap is harder to yeah, get out. Yeah, the rice like sits on top of it. It's so crispy. Yeah, right? How did it get so really crispy? Good. You know the pineapple and you don't eat pineapple? I have like barely tasted it. This is really good. Oh my goodness. I feel so happy right now. Like I'm in heaven. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Everything's been good so far, right? Yeah, everything's been so good. But this looks like the most delicious one. This is just a salmon with a lot of cotton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
The thing with Nami Nori is they pre-add wasabi and ponzu in their tamaki, but it's not like overdone. Perfect ratio. My belly is happy. So satisfying. That was an amazing meal. <laughs> you have to come here. You have to. They have a location in Manhattan too. We're at Peter Luger. Happy anniversary! Yes, happy anniversary. Four years. <laughs> it's funny, it's your choice to come here. Well, I wanted to treat Peter to a nice steak. And when in New York, you have to have Peter Luger. Even though you don't need steak. Yeah, but I wanted to treat my husband. <laughs> there you go. So easy to cut. First bite, how was it? Eat this every day. Nice and rare, not overdone. $70 steak. And my fish dish. <laughs> Whatever. Not as impressive, but yeah. They're famous for their steaks. Make sure you make your reservation in, in advance on Resi. That was a very worth it experience, but like what made it very unique is eating outdoors here. In the honking sounds of New York City. Yeah, in Brooklyn where all the trains are coming by, people are honking all the time get people walking by. Our waiters are really nice. Yeah, this lady came by and asked if she could have our bone. I'm like, man, she just scored. Is she gonna, her dog's gonna have a very nice dinner tonight. Yes. Courtesy of our anniversary, our anniversary <laughs> dinner. I'm sure we'll be happy. Yeah. Back here again. Peter loves this place all of a sudden. And also I made a mistake last time. Last time the Spanish latte was the sweeter one. And then today we have the dark one, which is more like mocha. Dark latte with mocha. This one is a Spanish latte. With condensed milk, you can kind of see it at the bottom here. They both have it, I think. They both have a little bit of condensed milk. Yeah. All right, try this one since we didn't have this one yet. Oh my gosh, yesterday I saw on TikTok this lady invented this straw. It's a reusable straw, but at the bottom, it's a whisk. I'm gonna insert it right here. It's an amazing invention that I'm thinking of buying. Ooh, the mocha is good. It's not super sweet. It's like more of a dark, rich, chocolatey. I guess we're more into dark and mocha type drinks, of course. Yeah. For sure. This is my favorite, the Spanish. And that was our video of all the things we ate in Brooklyn. Yeah, and it, I think the interesting thing is uh, we really wanted to try these places that we wanted to go to multiple times. And here we are getting coffee again <laughs> at Percent Arabica because that's for sure something we can't get back home. So that's always our goal. And hopefully with these recommendations, these are some places that you want to check out when you head over to Brooklyn. Yeah, we hope you guys got some great tips and enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe and we'll catch you next week bye